guys what's up and welcome welcome to a new video so today we are doing something different um i'm going to try and do this in english so bear with me it's a bit weird it's a bit different but that's it's because of the video and the content of the video so today i want to go out and try to do some car photography so i'm not that good at car photography so i want to get better at it and i also want to do a kind of a pov video of how like of driving the car showing it around and of course taking photos and some b-roll of the car in itself so i've been fortunate enough to borrow um, a mercedes so i'm going to take it out down maybe to my local beach or just find like a spot with some trees and some cool leading lights and place it as best as i can and yeah just have fun and take some photos and then i'm going to edit them and show you all of the process so yeah, let's go Okay, so we have arrived at our first, I guess, photo spot or destination. The spot didn't quite turn out as I wanted it to be because the, the place where I wanted to put the car, it's locked off. It's like a road for horses or something. So I'm going to try and place up the car right next to it and use the, the trees and the plants to just make it more cool, I guess. So we'll see how it goes. Let's see, well, after trying the first spot, I'm not super happy, but I guess it's still fun just trying to take a couple of pictures. It depends on the edit and stuff. So I think I'm gonna try at least to find a different spot to put the car and yeah, let's go again. Okay, so we're at spot number two now. Um, I'm not sure if I'm even allowed to be here, so I'm gonna do this quick and let's see if we can get some photos, yeah. Okay, so that's it for the the second photo spot with the car. I think this these ones or these photos turned out be better than the first ones, but then again, I'm not sure because the uh, the screen on the camera doesn't do the pictures justice. I have to get home and edit, put on like a preset or something like that to see if they're good or not. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, I'm back home. Sorry about the jump cut. I just didn't record anything in between from like driving from the. The photo spot and back home so let me just empty all my sd cards and um import my photos to lightroom and all of the the movie clips to premiere and stuff so and then i'm going to show you how i edit the photos and let's see if i got anything good and we are back so i have loaded up um, lightroom and i've gone through all of the pictures and just picked out a few that i like the most so um for this video i'm just 
I ju I'm just going to edit this one, the, the one you have on screen. Maybe if you like the outcome of it, we'll just paste, like just copy and paste the settings onto the other one. But just let me go, let me show you how I edit the photos when I like get them in Lightroom and stuff. So let's start. So I booted up Lightroom and this is the picture that I want to edit first. Um, just a, uh, you, you couldn't see it in the video because I didn't want to have the, the GoPro on me when I took these pictures. So I, I turned on off the GoPro and then I walked around the car, just put the timer on the camera and yeah, used the tripod. So mm, for this photo, so it's a bit of a summer day. So I'm thinking warmer tones and I need to do something about the sh shadows and up these and maybe make it a bit more contrasty. So I think I'm gonna use my new Golden Autumn preset. Uh, yeah. Let's start with this and I need to make it warmer. It's way too purple. Maybe like that, maybe put this to zero first. So I'm always way. Way too purple, maybe like there, maybe make it a bit warmer. Let's say 6000 first, a bit brighter, maybe contrast to let's say 10. What about highlights? So I think I want to put down the highlights so we can see more of the sky, and bring some of that, um, some of the quality back. Then what about shadows? Yes, I think we need to have shadows at 100. What about whites? Uh, I think I'm gonna because I want it to be bright in the middle so yeah let's do whites and maybe yeah I think the blacks are we can up, aim up the blacks a bit like this um clarity 15 I don't don't want to use the clarity function that much maybe a bit of dehazing let's put it to like five I guess um labyrinth minus five because I want it to be in not like too um, saturated, I guess. Tone curves, I'm not going to mess around with it. This is how I made the preset. This is how I like it. Curves the blacks and just made a simple S curve. You can do it yourself if you want to. Moving on, let's see here. Uh I like it how it is now, but I think it I have, yeah, I have this one. So, let's make this all around our main subject in the, in the photo, because we want our to draw the attention to the middle, right? So, if you go down here, this is uh, without, and it's with, maybe we can even try it down. Or, nah, maybe not. Um, Nah, it's too much. I think I'm gonna leave it as it is, actually. Um, yeah, so this is the before and after. So I went for a a moody kind of feel with the uh, with the dark like uh, pavement, and I desaturated a lot of colors. I went for a blue, like a kind of teal and orange one, cause it's, it's w with the orange hair and the the blue tealy. But that's like all in all how I edit a photo from start to finish. So as you can see before and after, and here's the full, the full image. So yeah, I'm kind of, I'm pretty happy with this. I most likely will post this to my Instagram as well. So yeah. Yeah, and that's it for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed this. This was a different video for me. Uh, first of all, I've been speaking English, so this is a bit weird, but still, it's fun. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more, follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of cool pictures and also YouTube videos and snippets over there. Links in the descriptions. And without further ado, and yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this video.